story I'm going to tell you took place over a six month period when I worked at a local fast food restaurant. During my first day of training, the girl that was showing me the ropes had warned me that the restaurant was supposedly haunted by a friendly ghost that liked to pop up every now and then. She really didn't get into the reasons why, but all the employees had given the nickname Wilbur to the ghost. Wilbur was known to have all the buzzers on the fry machine go off for no reason. He was also known to harass employees while they were cleaning the bathroom and little things like that. As I stated, he was considered a friendly ghost and never really did anything crazy or too terrifying. My first run-in with Wilbur was one of the first nights I closed. I was going around cleaning off the counters, pretty much getting everything ready to shut down the store when I was in the back room and all the lights shut off. I'm looking around to see if it was maybe an employee playing tricks on me, but when I walked up front, the counter girl was counting the registers and swore that she wasn't back there. I brushed this off as just a weird occurrence and went back to doing what I was doing, but what happened next really scared the hell out of me. I was going into the cooler and was wrapping up things for the night when the cooler door slammed shut behind me and all the lights went off. Now, if you've ever been inside a cooler, there's a knob that you can push on in case the door shuts and it closes in the dark. Well, I was over to pushing on the knob trying to get out, and the door wasn't opening. So I start screaming, and I'm almost in tears, when all of a sudden, the door popped open and let me out. Now, as I'm running away, I look behind me and watch the door close again. My next run-in with our friendly ghost was a night that I was cleaning the women's bathroom. I was in one of the stalls wiping down the back of the toilet and refilling the toilet paper when I heard the water turn on. So I poked my head out of the stall to see if somebody came in and there was nobody there. So I walked over, turned the water off, and as I was walking back to the stall, the water turned on again. Now, as I said, he's a friendly ghost, so I wasn't too scared but yet I was still unnerved. I walked over to turn the water off and like he always did, the lights turned off on me. So I abandoned the bathroom job, went out and told the shift manager what was going on and she kidded with me saying that Wilbur must have really liked me. During the rest of my time working at the restaurant, there was a number of things that happened and I can't remember every last one of them. But one of the last things I remember that I'm going to share with you was a night that I was closing down once again and had the store completely cleaned up and was getting the register counted out. Now, I don't know how many of you guys know how the ice cream machines work at a fast food joint, but you have to turn a lever for the ice cream to come out. And this particular machine, you actually had to hold the lever until you were done getting the amount of ice cream that you wanted. Well... I was up at the register when I started hearing a weird clicking sound. Now as I turned around, two cones, like for the ice cream cones, had popped out of the dispenser and landed on the floor. I'm shaken up wondering why the hell this happened and I bend down to clean them up when all of a sudden ice cream started spewing out of the dispenser all over the counter and just kept going until I actually had to run over and unplugged the machine from the wall. This one really scared me and had the other two employees there with me laughing their asses off. I know this one isn't as scary as some of the stories I've heard, but it was actually kind of fun and it was my ghost story and I just wanted to share it with you guys.